good morning and welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Philip. I'm a photographer based in the Midwest and on this channel we talk about landscapes, nature, and traveling and how those go together. And I am in the lovely Sedona, Arizona at the Bell Rock Trail and we're up shooting sunrise this morning and the light uh, is just kind of starting to hit Bell Rock. Um, kind of stumbled onto this nice framing composition. I've got Bell Rock here and it's kind of framed by some juniper trees and it has a nice uh, trail leading up. I'll show you that image now. Uh, settings wise I'm at f8 uh, 17 millimeters and a 40th of a second and yet uh, it's a beautiful morning. Uh, not too much for clouds in the sky but that's okay that's kind of why I try to, chose to go for a framing composition. It kind of takes out the fact that there's not so much interest in the sky. But uh, wow, this, this place is really something incredible. Uh, I drove in uh, kind of late last night, if you saw the episode from last week. I'm um, just in time to catch Blue Hour, but uh, this morning is something special. Really excited to be here. Um, so if you're new to the channel, uh, we're gonna be here for for four days or so. I'm just kind of doing some photography. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and that sounds cool to you, go ahead and do so because there's a lot of cool stuff coming up from this area on the channel. And uh, now that I got my first sunrise shot out of the way, the pressure's kind of off. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep looking around and maybe find another composition or maybe not. I don't know, it really doesn't matter. This, this place is uh, really quite special. So I'll show you around, let's go. One of the things that I like to do after I've kind of gotten out my sort of big grand wide shot is to start looking for details. I think a lot of times as landscape photographers, myself and a lot of us get distracted with the big grand view and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but I think it's, it's easy for us to miss a lot of opportunities um, often at all of the beauty that's kind of sitting down at our feet. So. I would encourage you to kind of just look around and, and, and get some detail shots and, and just kind of just be willing to explore because I think you will get a lot of some of your uh, favorite, more unique images uh, by doing that. So I'm kind of here um, and <laughs> this is going to be a bad week for me because I'm not super, super uh, knowledgeable about a lot of the desert plant life, but this is a... Uh, kind of a cool little plant and it kind of has all these kind of like spikes and patterns and my idea is that I'm just going to get really close to it and uh, kind of go with a shallow depth of field and kind of use some uh, some depth like that and uh, see what I can't can create. This should be kind of fun so uh, I'm going to go at uh, 2.8 and that's what the wide assist uh, lens will go and just kind of see what I can come up with. I just showed you that image and uh, wow, I don't even have to edit. I already know that I really enjoy it. It's just something a little bit different, a little bit uh, a little bit more unique. And uh, just that shallow depth of field is just so beautiful. And it kind of has this kind of green uh, color palette that I just really like and enjoy. So hopefully after seeing that, that kind of has convinced you to, you know, go ahead and do some more abstract, kind of more detail work. Um, then I, I don't know what, what I don't know. I, I enjoy the image. I don't know if you like it or not. Let me know down in the comments if you like that image or not. So, um, but I think that's gonna wrap it up for this morning. Um, 
Today is one day in the trip where uh, it's definitely not about what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and go back um, to the hotel and pick up the family. So let's go. I mean, top, top 10, you know, I would say, I, don't, I mean, I've been a lot of places, so it's kind of hard to, to even get on that list, but top 10 for sure. And um, so, yeah, that was a really cool hike um, up to a great location, kind of hung out in that area um, for a little while and enjoyed it. You've seen that footage already. Um, for, photographically speaking, I would definitely recommend getting there early in the day um, the issue with that location is that the cave is so dark in comparison to the outer surroundings whatever the outer landscape so you're having huge exposure and dynamic range issues so this is I'm not exactly sure how this edit is gonna play out I'm either gonna do an HDR and light room and see how that looks if I can make that look natural or I'll do some explosion explosion hmm, that's an interesting word I'll either do some uh, HDR type of blend and uh, HDR merge and Lightroom or I'll do some exposure blending in Photoshop we'll see it depends on if I can make the HDR look natural or not but either way um, pretty pretty cool location um, if you are traveling with a dog I would I would say that it's definitely possible um, we definitely don't have the most hiking um, savvy dog uh, he was a little he was a little scared but uh, um, he made it so I mean you can do it with a dog but I would just you know just say be careful and and you know do all that kind of stuff um, really cool opportunity to see uh some cliff dwellings and it, it's pretty wild just you know how people lived and just kind of that comparison you know I'm, I'm in a hotel right now this comfy little hotel and people literally used to live in a cave wall with like bricks up around them so uh definitely kind of put some things into perspective um really what i wanted to say though about this about this place is that you need to be respectful when you go to places like this. Uh, earlier this morning, I was at Bell Rock and <laughs> I got baby giggles over here on the side, distracting me. <laughs> um, earlier this morning when I was at Bell Rock, there was so much uh, graffiti and writing on the rocks. And I, I literally still to this day do not understand the point of that. Like there's no, there's no reason for it. There, it's, it's, Oh, it, it literally just infuriates me and I'll leave it at that because I could talk forever about that. I'll probably end up making a whole video about that one <laughs> one of these days just ranting. But either way, when you go to places like this, just be respectful. And in light of that, I will not be revealing uh, the trail or the location um, personally. Um, if you want to find it, it's out there on the Internet because that's how I found it. Um, but I'm, you know, you won't hear it from me. Um, it's definitely accessible. You can find it if you do your, 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 own, your own research and look, come back to tired and thirsty and hungry. Speaking of hunger, we went and stopped at this really awesome pizza place. And I know I don't show show food on, on this channel a lot, but oh my goodness. I can't remember the name, but I'll start, I'll roll you the clip and you can see the name of the, uh, the restaurant on the pizza box. And man, this pizza was just pretty good. I would say this pizza was, I mean, I'm kind of a pizza snob and I would say this is definitely like in, in my top five. Um, for for pizza, so um, definitely worth checking out. Highly recommend getting the adding the hot honey on top of it. Just chef's kiss. My goodness, it's good. 
So, on to sunset. So, sunset photography. After uh, eating and doing all that stuff, mad dash, baby, baby stuff, dog stuff, um, Odie was completely filthy, so he had to get a bath. Um, we kind of ran a little late trying to get down to uh, Red Rock Crossing, which is another popular location, which I real will reveal um, because everyone knows where Red Rock Crossing is in this place. Like, it's a, it's a very widely known place. You have to pay a fee to get in. I'm pretty sure people know it. So, anyways, at Red Rock Crossing for sunset, got there with about 15 minutes, and I'm trying to. I had I had a location picked out that I digitally scouted. Um, if you want to know about more about how I digitally scout, I'll leave the link um, to that up here. But anyway, so uh, I, I kind of like was sprinting basically to this place where I wanted to go shoot sunset of uh, Cathedral Rock. And I finally get there. And I'm trying to, and I can see the, the, the spot that I want to go to. And, you know, it's in a pinch. I don't really have too much time to look around. And I get there, kind of set everything up, and the light is just going off, and, and Cathedral Rock just looks absolutely gorgeous. It's glowing orange, and I, I have my tripod in some one of the most precarious positions that I've ever put it in. It's like one fell swoop, and then like my whole rig is just <laughs> going down the river. But uh, managed to get two images uh, off, and then I'll show you both of those, both of those now. Uh, so I would say with the amount of time I had, I would say pretty successful, which is why I would say that it's so, Im I've said this before in other videos, but I will always, I will always preach on this channel that it's not important what gear you have. It's important that you know how to use the gear that you have. So you got 15 minutes, right, to do this. You got to be able to find a composition, um, set everything up, know your settings, know how to change them, know how to deal with any exposure issues, um, bracketing if you have to do that, all that stuff, etc. Focus stacking potential. It's more important to know how to do these things and practice them and have them in your mind because when the pressure's on and you don't have the time to be fiddling around with settings, like you need to revert and go be able to go into autopilot. So if you don't, if you can't afford the latest and greatest, that's okay. You, Go with what you can go, but just know how to use it and you will come home with pictures you are proud of. I will guarantee it. So that is going to wrap up the video for today. Tomorrow morning, I will be shooting somewhere in Sunrise in Sedona. Again, I have yet to decide, but you will have to come back next week to find out where. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. I would appreciate it. Um, drop down a comment from... I don't know, let's say your favorite location from today. Did you like Bell Rock? Did you like the cave the most? Or did you like Red Rock Crossing? And if you are not subscribed to this channel yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. We're going to be hanging out in Sedona, going up to the Grand Canyon, and doing some photography in uh, the Phoenix area. So go ahead and subscribe if you want to hang out with that. So as always, thanks for watching.